Hello and welcome to Generation Me. I'm Tsring Wang Chuk. In this edition, I will take you to Sipsu and Samti. The students of Peljuling High Secondary School face many problems in the absence of boarding facilities. Peljuling High Secondary School has over 1,600 students. All the students are not from the same locality. There are over 500 students who live in nearby rented rooms in the absence of boarding facilities. Chetan Nurbu is a class 11 art student who has rented a room. I'm from Namchuling. I stay in rent in Peljuling. And uh, it takes about two hours from Namchuling to come to school. Chetan Nurbu rented a room instead of walking for about two hours from his home to school. This, he says, is convenient and gives him more time to study. I prefer to stay in rent, uh, firstly, because uh, to study, and another is to overcome from the summer season. Because uh, in summer season, if you don't be meticulous, then as the river swollens up, and there's high chances that will be washed away. Staying in a rented room is convenient because it saves time. Ganga Sharma is another student who chose to rent a room instead of walking for hours from home to school. I'm from Hange, Lower Hange, and I prefer to stay in rented house because uh, when I come from home, it takes longer time. Um, there is a lot of obstacles while coming uh, from home because on the way sometimes there is threat of uh, elephant. And then secondly, sometimes during the season, we are not comfortable to study. We will not get time to study because all weight or dress will be wet and then it would be not better for studying and then mostly we will not get time to study and then it is better if we stay in red and then many will get more of ample of time for studying. However, staying in a rented room is not easy. If there is a boarding facility, students will be more comfortable, says Kanga Sharma. But there are also some difficulties faced here because mainly we have a water problem. We are not getting water every day, so we have to feel water in certain period. So it is getting very difficult, tough time for us to stay in rent. And then also sometimes there is no electricity, then that time we'll have very tough time to manage ourselves. In rented house, we don't know how to manage uh, things. And then also morning, we have to wake up, but there is nobody to guide us. So sometimes we'll fall asleep, and then this is how we are not able to overcome. And it would be better if there is some guidance for us. During summers, power supply is erratic. Power goes off due to thunder and lightning. The students living in rented rooms depend on electric appliances like curry cooker and rice cooker. Most of the students go to school on an empty stomach when there's no power supply. About water supply, most of the time we have a tough time to overcome that. And another was electricity. Uh, it's very true. Most of the time the electricity goes off and we have a tough time, we have to cook food. Sometimes we don't take breakfast because at the time when the electricity goes off, we don't get ample of time to cook food. When there's no power supply, some of them choose to have instant noodles. Sometimes the students borrow firewood from house owners to cook outside the house. Uh, we usually uh, cook in firewood. Uh, we ask from the house owner and if they allow, then we will uh, use firewood and we cook. And it would be a very tough time for us to manage because we will be not prepared for, we won't know. Light goes off and sudden, uh, unknowingly it goes. And then that time only we will realize and sometimes we will be studying or something we, are, we would be doing. Then... When line, line goes, then it would be very uh, pathetic condition for us to manage because uh, we have to collect uh, firewood and go there, here, search. And we have not bought uh, this pot and all from house, and that time we have to borrow from them. For me, it is comfortable, but I think in some uh, of the houses, the house owner might not keep, and I think uh, maybe that could be the reason they fall and they're not able to concentrate in the class. In my opinion, I feel that uh, this is because they didn't take breakfast. This is one of the many problems faced by the students. The school has initiated a day feeding program to feed the deprived students. Sonam Jamso is principal of the school. Ever since my arrival, I joined here as a principal uh, with a discussion with my teachers. Uh, we have initiated a feeding program. That feeding program is entirely from the school side. We have no budget source. 
we are being helped by Novadilla. Mm -hmm. Sometimes teachers contribute. Sometimes um, we have a certain collection of funds within our school. Uh, since I have a good number of eggnut trees uh, and uh, goa trees. Uh. Mm -hmm. So we sell this uh, eggnut. And ever since my join here, I think in 2012, we sell around, around 3,000. Mm -hmm. Maybe in 2013, we got around 4,000. Last year, we got 5,000. Mm -hmm. This year, I think we are pretty sure that we may get uh, 9,000. We have a committee, so the, whatever we get uh, by selling this equity, uh, the money goes to the committee. Mm -hmm. And uh, in a time when we do not have power, mm -hmm. so the school cook the food and we provide lunch for these uh, unfortunate students. The students also find it difficult to study in the absence of regular study time and without teachers to supervise them. In my case, most of the time I cook because we share two rooms with my sister and she's class 12. So I give her a time to study. So most of the time I cook approximately till uh, 10 o'clock. We stay at night and I sleep every 10 and I wake up at uh, most of the time at 5 and 6 and my sister wakes uh, about 4 to 5. Of course, it is very difficult for us because as such, uh, we don't have any warden or someone to ask us to inform us. But by any means, we have to wake up by ourselves. And then, though we make alarm, but sometimes it doesn't work because uh, we will be in deep sleep, so it is not working as such. Some of them find it difficult to study and to do their regular walks in a cramped room. Principal therefore allows such students to use the classrooms in the evening. Since uh, these parents are not coming from well-to-do or family, they are coming from poor background. Since uh, they are coming from poor background, they do not have uh, enough money to get more comfortable quarter. So these people, four to five people, are put up in one small dingy room. And as a result, uh, they could not do their work on time. They could not study. The people who have more than five people in one room, I invite them to come to school to study. Many of the students who are staying in the nearby area, they come to the, my office putting up the application. They wanted to study in a school. So if you look at last year, there were around more than 100 people uh, who are studying in the school area during the night. Uh, because so we have light here. And I ask the class captain to keep the class open, but they have to put up the application. The, the other problem is, so this student has to walk certain distance from school to their home. Mm -hmm. And we know that uh, Sipsu is infested with uh, elephants. Mm -hmm. And in a time, as a principal, I had a huge worry la, if they encounter elephants and there can be casualty as well. So this is another problem. La. And other problem is that... Uh, most of the house owners are very much uh, not concerned about their client. Mm -hmm. Lightings are outside mm -hmm. and there is no water. Mm -hmm. The water, I think, there is no perennial water. Principal says the school is also concerned about maintaining discipline of the students staying in rented rooms. The huge problem I hear is uh, students become astray during the night. La. Since there is no proper guidance, there is no proper people who could guide them. So they ate in the in the evening, in the in the night, they walk away any places they wanted. So discipline issue is also one of the prominent learning from these people. And the other one is naturally there is a huge effect in their day-to-day -day learning because they cannot have a proper study in such a dingy room. I asked principal about the absence of hostels. Since uh, we know that uh, trash chilling is in the southern belt, uh, mm -hmm. maybe a decade ago uh, we had a security problem, so no boarding facilities were provided in any of the schools in Samsel except in Dula. With the influx and with the coming of the resettlement people, mm -hmm. I think now, especially in, in Samsel area, mm -hmm. the security problem is now almost nil now. Everything is now settled down. And with this uh, now, I think it is high time the government should look into the matter mm -hmm and provide boarding facilities, especially in this uh, Samsi area, la. like uh, we have Veselti, Pajuling, it's high time. La. And I think um, now there is in the pipeline, la. government is also now planning to now bring up with boarding facilities in this area. La. The Dungkak has identified a piece of land last December within 16 acres of school compound to construct two hostels. With this now, if boarding has to be now come up here, we need a boys' hostel, we need gas hostel and we 
on and on we have to build a wooden squatter metron squatter kitchen store so in the initial survey they felt that uh, the existing lane is not at all possible for the boating la but now no people in and around this uh, school are ever ready to part away their lane la the people around here are so adamant now they don't want to part away their very precious lane that's why now the government has now come up with to put up the boating in this existing 16 acres la only with that we are also little skeptic la coming up with such a huge hostel uh, how would it be possible to accommodate uh, that 120 bed uh, two hostels la with uh, a metron and wooden courses la and uh, survey has been already done and it is in the pipeline i think soon we will be getting la Well, that's it for this edition of Generation Me. Thank you for being with the program. I'm Sring Wongchuk, signing off for Generation Me here on the BBS. You can listen to the program at 5.20pm on Saturdays and Sundays.